Sherry Muff the makeup artist. Huh. Hard to tell how hot she is from such an innocuous name. But maybe I'd better go hit on her anyway, just to be on the safe side. <gasps> My balls are cherry colored. Maybe I'll lead off with that. Yep, definitely born with an extra pink gland. Guess I'll play up my natural puppy playfulness, or at least try to control my bladder as well as a puppy for once. <coughs> what, 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 what? Did I fart again? I mean, trust me, it could have been way worse. Sorry. I've just never seen someone's face that needed so much maintenance before. Except for when my dog got face cancer. I had to have him put down. You remind me of him. Well, no surprise there. Cancer is my sign. What's yours, world's sexiest makeup artist on board? <laughs> I mean, not that you're in a car window right now. You know, I, I didn't mean to imply that... Look, I'm Larry, by the way. Larry Lovage. So... What would it take to entice a tall glass of peaches like you to give me the time of day? I'm Cherry Muff. Makeup artist. Assistant. Sorry, I don't believe in clocks, and I really should get back to work. You know, worms can apply lipstick to themselves. Lipstick on worms? Oh, killer! What movie's that for? Why would it be for a movie? Not to burst your boo-woo, bubbly-wubbly, but I'm a woman of substance. I only date guys who contribute to my teddy bear collection. And the only bear I need to complete it is the 1912 Teddy Roosevelt Mark III. But they're extremely rare. Priceless, even. Oh, money is no object when a good cause is involved. Off I go, then. Stay pretty for me, and don't worry about my safety or my finances. I sure don't. Oh, and maybe when you're done with those other worms, you can slather some lovin' on mine. Huh, 1912, eh? I think I know just the boat that sank around then. Coincidence? Who cares?
Hmm. Knowing Hugh's zeal for faithfully recreating period piece art direction regardless of the cost, I think I know just the priceless teddy bear that's sure to be lying around here totally unguarded. He won't mind. And if he does, I got the perfect defense. Cherry's ass crack. It's a win-win. A stuffed brown ticket to Cherry's juicy red blossom. Now to take it back to her and see which of the two of us she cuddles up to first. Be warned, Teddy. I have the advantage of smelling like much more recent mothballs. So suck it. Well, there's Cherry. Looks like it's time to bear and grin it. <laughs> Get it, Teddy? No. Well, fuck you, then. You better be the Mark III, you floppy little fucker, or our next stop's the dog kennels. Have we met? Ooh, I see something brown and softy-wafty. Is that for me e we -y? It's someone who likes honey, but thinks you're even sweeter. Hmm. Well, it's very irresponsible of you to try feeding honey to a stuffed bear. They eat cotton. Is it yours? Or is that for Cherry Wary Dairy? Only a friendly little someone who took an adorable pill and thinks he's looking in a mirror. Didn't want to see a sweet little facey wacy like yours looking bluey wooey. Like what kind of toy and makeup company president... Oh, and descendant of Teddy Roosevelt, would that make me? Oh, he's perfect! Hi, Teddy Weddy Daddy. I'm gonna give you the best home a dead bear could ever want. Thank you so much, little girl. I love him to oodles. Wait, you're an actual toy manufacturer? Honest and for true? Which ones? Which ones? Oh, I love toys! They're so soft and housebroken.
Not as soft as your eyes in the moonlight. Ah, I mean, ew. Come on, tell me which toys have your name on them. Maybe I've heard of one. Oh, we specialize in stuffed animals, all modeled after real bears that we rescue from the wild and place in good homes. Hey, what would you say to my company rolling out a whole new line of dolls with your likeness? The profits would all go to providing electric blankets and satellite radio to puppies. Uh, please, just say you'll think about it. Gee, I feel like I know you already, but just to be absolutely glutely sure, I should ask the question I always ask prospective business partners. What's your favorite color? Mine's blonde with blonde highlights. Ah, oh, gee, I'm torn between saying the radiant cornflower blue of those incredible eyes of yours, the dazzling white of your generous smile, or the shimmering flaxen gold of your hair, which I can only hope matches the drapes, well, except in length. How did you know I have blue drapes? That's so cute. But don't change the subject, you naughty boy. What's your favorite color? Don't be shy. I won't tell anyone. Ah, how does one choose a color? Impossible, sweet cherry. Just as it would be to choose from between your magnificent beauty and your equally generous heart. Forgive me. Your goodness leaves me tongue-tied. Return to your bunnying. Sorry that I troubled you. No, wait. Please don't go. You're not troubling me. Let me give you a makeover first. Pleasey, sleazy. I love challenges, and your face is like a Fibonacci sequence, weakness of issues. There's just so much to improve on. What would I have to let you do to me to talk you into letting me beautify you? Oh, I am far from worthy of such an honor. Therefore, my price will be letting me treat you to a full six-day platinum full-service body rejuvenation at the Happy Pink Nail Polish Emporium Nature Retreat and Health Spawn Palm Springs. <gasps> what do you say, beautiful? Really? You do that for me? Gosh, I feel like a princess in a movie. You're just a sweet little bony rat boy, aren't you? Are there any more like you at home? I do have a sister. Oh, your sister sounds awesome. Yeah, I'll get her spot tickets as well. And, uh, hey, as it happens, I have a twin brother, Barry Bovage. <laughs> who knows? Maybe they'll, uh, maybe they'll hit it off. Now, what do you say we multiply our fun and hit the bunny store and get a few furry little cuties for me? Oh, my God. Totally. Let me just change really quick. Would you mind holding my clothes while I slip into a G-string and some fuck-me pumps? I won't be long. Will you... Let Cherry show you her favorite thing bunnies do. <laughs> really? Yeah, I love tunneling into farms and eating all the lettuce. I'll go grab the pickaxe. <laughs>
Ava Locklips. Oh, not bad. Guess she and I have a lot in common. Except a bed. It is so refreshing to meet a girl who just wants to have fun. And I got just the party favor for her to blow. Are you the Chinese copy machine repair guy yet? Yo, actually, I'm this famous rap star who's having the party of the century tonight, and I would be honored if you were to attend and make it a night to remember for the rest of the night. But see, it's for a charity, so make sure you wear that top. A less. Interested? Holla. No way. A party? Me? Go to? Wow. It's like you really know what makes me tick. You don't mind if I wear something skimpier than this, do you? What charity's your party for? My high heel collection? Ah, it's something you probably wouldn't be very interested in. It's to help raise Paris's legal fees. She'll be there tonight. She's still trolling for a new sidekick now that the rest are dead or worse. Say, has anyone ever told you that you bear a striking resemblance to her back when she was famous? All the time. Is there anything I can do to anything of yours to get into your charity party? I can untie a knot in a cherry stem with my tongue and some scissors, if that'll help.
Oh, a girl like you should never even have to do anything to get in anywhere except stand up and breathe. Or at least stand up. Oh, I don't like standing up. Sorry. There anything else I can do to get in that doesn't involve knots? I like being in places. It makes me feel like mascara, all snug in my compact. Well, I guess me being seen on your arm anywhere in public would qualify as charity of the highest order. You know of any good parties tonight? Maybe I could drive you and your boyfriend to one. Oh, I'm mad at my boyfriend right now. He never puts out, and all he cares about is his stupid girlfriend. Fuck him. Can I get into your party still? You can tie my arms in a knot if it'll help save the diseases from being cured. I like bikinis. Mine's made of floss. I got something right here that you can untie, and, uh, what say we forgo the scissors part for now? Also, letting me pee in your butt might help you gain admittance, but, uh, nothing's guaranteed till I shake. Oh, my butt's still sore from last night with I could also sing Pop Goes the Weasel with a kazoo from my vagina if that would help the sick kids. Is there anything else I could do without tying or untying knots and things? Please? Well, we're only letting the ten sexiest women in the world inside, so you'll be fine. Uh, we're also having a few contests. Sluttiest look, shortest skirt, longest time in the restroom, most drinks consumed. Uh, oh, and try not to say anything too cerebral. This is for charity. I suppose you're no longer interested. No, no, I am. I am. Oh, please let me go somewhere with you and give me a chance to show you all that I have to offer. Just tell me what to wear. Maybe you should dress me yourself just to be on the safe side. Well, since anywhere I'm at is by definition a ritzy affair, try not to wear anything that makes you look cheap. In other words, nothing that exists. Oh, and maybe a thick fur coat. You know, something that goes with your pussy, only, in the coat's case, deloused. Gosh, how did you know my cat was sick? So wait, this is a charity to help raise money for fur, isn't it? Your ears look gross. What should I wear to your fundraiser, like clothes-wise and stuff? Oh, a girl who looks like you would get in if you were wearing a garbage bag. So, uh, feel free to, and know that deep down, I'll be thinking of it as a treasure bag of feminine perfection. Oh, treasure bags are so 2007. But it's not your fault for not knowing. You're a guy. Or a very ugly girl. The party. What should I wear to it? I forget if you answered. Words make me sleepy. Pshaw! I won't have a beautiful woman like you wearing her own clothes, even for charity. Go to an overpriced department store in Beverly Hills this afternoon. I'll have my butler meet you there. But uh, if he's late, just charge it on your card, and we'll work it all out later after our tryst. Wow, you'd really loan me your butler? That is so sweet. I've never met a guy like you before. It's like you really know how to buy me stuff. I can't wait for tonight. Parties roll. Are there any charitable acts that I can perform on you right now to get into the spirit for tonight? Well, actually, the charity is for benefiting young kids in the Congo and teaching them to have more responsible sex. Well, more vigorous sex. So maybe if you were willing to show me some of your techniques downstairs in the basement for a few hours, with me filling in for one of those poor lost souls... That is, if you think you're up to me. Really? Tubular. Why don't we just have sex instead of going to an overpriced hot couture department store or your party then? Is it okay if I invite a couple friends, though? They've never had sex with a real philanthropist before. Or blown one. Do you mind? I know it's last minute. You can spank me if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I'll try to think of the sick kids while you bang me. Your build should help. Just don't stop until I pass out, or we'll have to start from scratch. Scratch away. Mm.
Oh, sorry, I took so long. Evidently, it's illegal to buy ED medication in Canada, Mexico, and Cuba. How about you? <clears throat> Did you identify our mole? Well, to make a long story short... It's been almost seven hours. Say something! I really thought a dramatic pause there would set the tone. Oh, then Amy and I are that close to being an item. My God, I had no idea. So that anus is behind all this shit. I know he vowed to destroy me, but who hasn't? Well, it's time we taught him and that no good, good for nothing Kip a lesson they won't forget for weeks. By gum, you're right. It's high time we fought fire, with fireworks, just like the fire department. Larry, your father would be very proud if you didn't accidentally kill him. Damn chocolate fountains. Then let's make him even prouder, with a little good old-fashioned American arson. Looks like Larry Lovage's destiny lies roofward, and far be it from me to argue with destiny or boobs. What the hell are you doing here, you meddling brat? The jig's up, Kip. Turn yourself in, and I'll try to put in a good word for you with the governor and your... Yeah. Hey! This is only the beginning, Lovage. Soon I'll have sabotaged yeah. every film studio in town, right into bankruptcy. What greater testament to my success as a producer. Hey! Hey! Ah! Hey! Yeah! trick they teach us in business school, motherfucker. It's called I Hate You, and it comes in two flavors, black and blue! Oh, sorry, it took so long. Evidently, it's... Looks like Larry Lovage's destiny lies roofward, and far be it from me to argue with destiny or booze.
What the hell are you doing here, you meddling brat? The jig's up, Kip. Turn yourself in, and I'll try to put in a good word for you with the governor and your... This is only the beginning, Lovage. Soon I'll have sabotaged yeah. every film yeah. studio in town right into bankruptcy. What greater testament yeah. to my success as a producer. Yeah. 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 yourself in, Kip. Shit, you're tougher than I thought. Business school, motherfucker. It's called I Hate You, and it comes in two flavors black and blue. Huh, <sighs> sorry, I took so long. Evidently, it's illegal to buy ED. Med Looks like Larry Lovage's destiny lies roofward, and far be it from me to argue with destiny or boobs.
What the hell are you doing here? The jig's up, Kip. Turn yourself in, and I'll try to put in a good word for you with the governor and your... This yeah. is only the beginning, Lovage. Yeah. Soon I'll have sabotaged every film studio in town, right yeah. into bankruptcy. But greater testament yeah. to my success as a producer. Hey! Yeah! 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 yourself in, Kip. Yeah. Shit, you're tougher than I thought. I'll be back. You haven't heard the last of me, Lovage. I got a billion exit lines. You can run, but you can't hide, Kip. Unless it's somewhere man-sized, and this is a film studio, so yeah. I gotta turn these fireworks around. It's too late for me to defuse all these fireworks, but maybe there's just enough time for me to point them all somewhere inhabited by assholes. Oh, sorry, it took so long. Evidently, it's illegal to buy ED medication in Canada, Mexico, and... Looks like Larry Lovage's destiny lies roofward, and far be it for me to argue with destiny or boobs.
The jig's up, Kip. Turn yourself in, and I'll try to put in a good word for you with the governor and your... Yeah. This is only the beginning, yeah. Lovage. Soon I'll have sabotaged every film studio in town right into bankruptcy. Yeah. What greater testament yeah. to my success as a producer? Yeah. Yeah. yourself in, Kip. Shit, you're tougher than I thought. Oh, sorry, I took so long. Looks like Larry Lovage's destiny lies roofward, and far be it from me to argue with destiny or booze. The jig's up, Kip. Turn yourself in, and I'll try to put yeah. in a good word for you with the governor and your... Hey! This yeah. is only the beginning, Lovage. Soon I'll have sabotaged every film studio in town, yeah. right into bankruptcy. What greater testament yeah. to my success as a yeah. producer. Hey!
Hand yourself in, Kip. Shit, you're tougher than I thought. Oh, sorry, I took so long. Evidently, it's illegal to buy ED medication in Canada, Mexico, and Cuba. How about you? <clears throat> Did you identify our mole? Well, looks like Larry Lovage's destiny lies roofward, and far be it from me to argue with destiny or boobs. Jigs up, Kip. Turn yourself in, and I'll try to put in a good word for you yeah. with the governor yeah. and your... This is only the beginning, Lovage. Soon yeah. they'll have sabotaged every film studio in town, right into yeah. bankruptcy. What greater testament to my yeah. success as a producer. Yeah. yourself in, Kip. Shit, you're tougher than I thought. Yeah! Huh! Yow! Hey! Huh! Huh! 
Ow, 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 ow. Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, stop hurting me. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be back. You haven't heard the last of me, Lovage. I got a billion exit lines. You can run, but you can't hide, Kip. Unless it's somewhere man-sized, and this is a film studio, so yeah. I gotta turn these fireworks around. It's too late for me to defuse all these fireworks, but maybe there's just enough time for me to point them all somewhere inhabited by assholes. 